It is he that goeth with you. Yeah. That amazes me right there, because I don't know about you, but I know me. Amen. Amen. And yet God goes with us. Amen. We've got to stop looking at God like we look at human beings. Amen. Human beings will quit on you. Amen. Human beings will turn their back on you. Yes. Human beings are fragmented. They're up with you one minute and down the next. They gave Jesus palms. They had a parade for the man. They celebrated him, called him hallelujah. Three days later they said, give yeah. us the raper and the robber, Barabbas, and kill him. Kill him. Kill him. He fed them. He healed them. He blessed them. He forgave them. And they said, that's human beings. So what makes you think it ain't going to happen to you? They're going to lie on you. They're going to gossip on you. They're going to turn it back on you. Human beings that are not in this spirit will do it. Yeah. They'll yeah. forsake you. Amen. Some members don't see us all week until it's time for Bible study. They just know we're going to be standing here. Taking people for granted. They just know Pastor Bishop going to be there. That's the world we live in now. It's a sad place. God, if he is not with you, you in trouble right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Evangelist lawyer, her and her husband come every Thursday night. She said she got, he came early, she got out of her car, and she said it was two young black guys walking in front of the church real slow. And we have cameras all the way around the building, and we have several monitors up there that they're watching who's parking, who's coming in the front door, who's in the lot. We, we have to do, see that's, isn't that sad? Yeah. That a church has to now watch out. Mm -hmm. It used to be a time they'd rob and shoot anybody, but not the church, but y'all watch the news? Mm -hmm. They come up in the church, hey, they got money. Mm -hmm. that's it. That's so we had to put in cameras. We got people in here sitting just as nice and sweet. They not gonna let you get hurt. <laughs> And that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> okay? Because we're in the last day. Yeah, we are. Okay? And she said they were walking by, and when they saw her get out of the car, they stopped. And they started moving towards the entrance of the church. And she said, I got back in my car, and I got my protection in my hand. And she said, I began to pray the blood of Jesus. Yeah. She said, I ain't running. I ain't no runner. I ain't no quitter. But if you come at me, I got something for you. Yeah. And they turned around. She said, by the fifth time, she said, the blood of Jesus. She said, she don't know why, but they just turned back around, walked out the entrance of the parking lot, and went on down the street. We can't be in fear, y'all. It's like ever since 9 11, everybody and mama is scared of everything. It's a demon of fear. We are God's people. And God is with us. And let me say this if you have sinned, Jesus came for that. Now, I, I, can't, I can't do anything about human beings. Human beings, they will put you down to you. Die. Yeah. yeah. You got to grow past that. That was dead. This is now the heck with you. You got to get that mindset after a while because if you don't, what their judgment is of you will pull you down. It may even be true. You did do that. You did it five minutes ago. But if you repented and you were sincere, it's over. Amen. Amen. You can't keep living beating yourself up. You don't let your past dictate to your present and your future. You don't allow that. I have made mistakes. I have done wrong. I don't care who you are. See, I don't want to be no pastor or no pastor. I don't want God on the pedestal. But I don't need to be no God on no pedestal. I'm a human being who God called to teach the word so we all can try to get in. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get yeah. back home. Yeah. That's all I'm supposed to do. I, make, I, don't, I don't use it for an excuse, 
but I do make a statement. I will lose my temper. That is just as bad in the word as somebody committing adultery. Come on, Dad. Yeah. Come on. See, you don't get a whole lot of yes, yeah, Sister Willis, when you start talking like this. Yeah. Because what we want to do is crucify the murderer, yeah. the drug addict, and the prostitute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? We want to talk about them like a dog, put our nose in the air, yeah. and look down at them. Yeah. But when we over here gossiping, backbiting, yeah. now we give God our word, we're going to join this church, yeah. and we're going to attend services. We don't show up. We don't give our tithes and offering. We don't treat people right. We don't love people, but we don't care. Yeah, come on now. Kelly. The Bible says sin is sin. sin. I don't care who it is. Yeah, yes, right. And then he said everybody done sin and come up sure. short. Yeah. And then he said if any person say they have not sinned, right. they are a liar. Yeah. And the truth not in it. But every time I say this, the church gets real quiet because that spirit is still in the body of Christ. Yeah. And there are big sins and little sins. No, no, no. The Bible says sin is sin. Sin is sin. Wrong is wrong. And no such thing as no white lies. You lie. And if you don't repent for it, the Bible says you're going to stay apart. You gonna have a part in the lake of fire. Yeah. That's just that simple. But once you repent, it's over, and God is with you. Yeah. Even when you sin, God yeah. is with you. Yeah. He yeah. says, "I'm married to the backslide." Yeah. yeah. So even when you live in a hellacious life, if you have received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, He is still with yeah. you. Now people won't go with that either. But I remember Bishop, y'all, some of y'all know his testimony. A mainline heroin and cocaine for 12, 14 years of his life, coming back from Vietnam, 30 some, 40 some years ago. And he said, I'd be in a crack house, getting high, and start talking and start talking scripture. Because he received Christ at nine years old was brought up in the church. You parents bringing your children up in the church, don't let the devil tell you you're wasting your time. That's right, that's right. The more you keep them in here, the better it is for them. Amen. Because the Bible says train them up in the way they should go, and when they get older, when they get older, they shall not depart. Now everybody get old at a different age. Yeah. Your child could be 40 years old and still live in a hellacious life. It don't matter. At some point, because of the promise of God, it's going to come out what you put in. Amen. 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 Don't get quiet because that's the truth. We just got to wait on God. People have to build their own individual testimonies, and you can't make them live nothing. Amen. 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 He goes with us to do what? What does the word say? Fight. To fight for you against your enemies to save you. Now, save, that word save does not refer to salvation. Amen. It's almost like somebody that's drowning and you save them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have an understanding of the word. Yeah. So, the, God is with you because he's in you. Amen. When you ask him to come in, he came in. He yeah. keeps his word, and he don't go nowhere. Yeah. Amen? Amen. All right. So God is with you. He goes with you, and he's fighting for you against your enemies. Yeah. Your enemy might be financial. Thank you, Lord. That's right. Your enemy might be food, clothing. It might be people. I don't know. Uh -huh. But whatever your enemy is, he's going to fight for you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. You gotta see that. Look at that script. He's gonna fight for you. Amen. You don't have to fight. Yeah. With your fist. Mm -hmm. Your battle, go to Ephesians six. six and twelve. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your battle is not in flesh and blood. Thank you. See, if we start living the word and trusting God, a whole lot of stuff that we do, we won't do. Yeah, we yeah. do it out of desperation. We do it out of feeling that we have no other recourse.
force. We do it because we feel like we're pressed against the wall and there's no way out. That's why people say, 